Moments ago, Chopper 5 was over the Chart Hill side, just north of the Carquinas Bridge. The flames burned about 20 acres, coming right up to several homes. Started as a car fire along Interstate 80, and then it spread up the hillside toward those houses on Bayhurst Drive. And it turns out there used to be a fire station just a few blocks away. KPI X5's Joe Vasquez live in Vallejo with that part of the story tonight. Joe? Yeah, Alan, take a look behind me. Right here on the top of the ridge, you can see firefighters up there, but also some neighbors who are using garden hoses to watch these hot spots. We saw a lot of use of garden hoses out here today, and in fact, several people have asked us to ask the city what, uh, some questions about what they believe was inadequate response time. It started along I-80, just past the Carquinas Bridge toll plaza. A car caught fire, then pulled over, which set the hill on fire. Firefighters launched an aerial attack on the hillside where homes were threatened in the seascape subdivision. Flames reached two houses and began burning the back walls as Engine 21 arrived. Both these homes were uh, the backside, sketch on fire. And the truck company, Truck 21 from Vallejo, was up here. Just got to work, pulled a couple hose lines and knocked it down. Nobody was hurt. Folks here say it could have been much worse if friends and neighbors like Ahmad Mangal had not pitched in. I was just hosing their fence and their awning and then my neighbor's fence and our fence. Yeah, luckily I stayed with her. Yes. yes. What are this your is, thoughts, sir? Yes. Uh, uh, he's a hero. So we uh, hooked up a bunch of hoses, did what we could. But I want to know why it took so long for the fire department to show up. That's a common question among neighbors here today. Everyone knows this hillside is a hot spot. It has caught fire several times before. Still, even the fire captain says his response time was eight minutes, but could have been faster if the city hadn't shut down the closest fire station. Well, they closed 26. That's closed. Uh, that's the one right down the road. Um, if that one was open, these wouldn't have took on any damage. City leaders shut down Station 26 on Fulton Road back in 2011 after Vallejo filed for bankruptcy. I believe that our response um, it was immediate. Joanna Altman is the city of Vallejo spokesperson. What do you say to folks who believe that they didn't respond quickly enough and it's because that fire station was shut down? You know, the city is working to address um, any kind of public emergencies, and we're consistently reviewing our time, um, our response times to different calls, um, and we're honestly doing the best we can. So they say they're doing the best they can. Well, here's something else neighbors want them to do a better job of, and that is t attacking the root of the problem. At the bottom of the hill, as I mentioned, is the toll plaza. And this is not the first time it's happened several times, Alan, where the folks out here say somebody has engine problems or some kind of fire in their car. They pull over. They're directed to pull over uh, by the toll plaza, and then they end up catching this entire hill on fire. The neighbors out here would like some sort of protocol change on how people are pulling over to this tinderbox.